Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple really simple ways to create and manage audio transcriptions all within Word. So I have a brand new document open here inside Word. Now you see at the top of the screen, right within the home menu here, you see a dictate button. And if you just click on this, it will activate your microphone and it starts recording. And you can see everything that I'm saying is appearing on screen. This is a great way of just capturing some of your thoughts and having it appear on the screen. And you can stop here and then obviously go back through and edit it any way you want. But the other feature that a lot of people kind of miss is up here, if you click on the little arrow below dictate, you have two options, dictate and transcribe. We're gonna click on the transcribe portion here. Now you have two options, you can upload audio or start a recording. And I'm gonna show you both options here. So we're gonna click on upload audio and there is a limit. I think it's 300 megabytes that you can upload. So we're just gonna click on a short video here and click open. And you can see the progress bar here showing what percentage it's done. Obviously the longer video will take longer to do. And so it is right now analyzing the video and pulling all of the text out of it. And once that's loaded, you can see kind of a play bar up here. You have the speed to play it back, rewind, play, volume control, all of that. And then it has kind of broke down all of the transcriptions to go. So what you can do to start with is you could play this and listen along and you can edit that or adjust it as you need to. And you can see you have this and go, that was Lex, right? And you can just make these edits directly into there. The other thing you can edit is you could change out the speaker title and say, well, this was me speaking. So we're gonna change that and go change all of speaker one, okay? Click okay. And you can see it changed all of that to me. Now, if this is like a podcast or there's a conversation between two different people, it'll detect the different voices and go speaker one and speaker two, and you can change both those names. Okay, once you have that set and you edit anything that you wanna do there, you can now go to add to document. And you see, you can add just the text, you can add with speakers, with timestamps, with speakers and timestamps. I'm gonna show you this option. So you click on that and you can see it adds over here in the document all of the transcript and shows you the time code of where in the video it plays and your name or the name of the, whoever's speaking, what's said. And you of course can edit that and change anything out you want in there as well. And you can see it also creates a link to the video in your OneDrive. So you can add that in there. I'm just gonna move this down to the next line. And now you have the full transcription that you could save, upload to YouTube or other software where you need to utilize that transcription. And that gives you everything right in there. And you can see here, once you're in the document, if you click enter on your keyboard, it will open up the video that is uploaded to your OneDrive. And you can see the video playing out here. And you can see where it's saved here. And you can see if there's other videos. And you can see within the OneDrive, you can see it creates a transcribed folder. It has all the videos that you uploaded, your recordings, things like that is all in there. And you can delete or move those around as you need it. So I'm gonna show you another method here. If let's say you don't have the, the video file or audio file to upload directly into there, you can also play it back in real time and record it that way and have it transcribed. All right, so with a new document here, I'm just gonna go over to dictate. Once again, click on that little arrow, go to transcribe. And this time, instead of clicking on upload audio, we're gonna use the start recording feature, okay? So I'm just gonna bring over a YouTube video here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this and then click start recording. And it basically will transcribe in real time and it'll look like this. So if you're looking for a super easy way to add a signature to a Word document. And then you just click the microphone button again to stop. And you can stop and start this as much as you want. Maybe, you know, if, if you go, I wanna skip that part or people get off topic and you wanna stop that, you can just hit that microphone and it basically pauses. Once you're done and you have everything that you wanna do, then you'll click on save and transcribe now. And once again, it's gonna take a moment to upload that audio that it just recorded into OneDrive and analyze it and create the transcription. Now this was a shorter video, so you can see that it pops up over here. And once again, you have all these same options. This is just now was done in real time. So we can change, click on the little pen icon, change the speaker. Once again, that was me. And we change that for everybody. And you can do it that way. And then once again, come down here, click 
and add that to your document and you have that all ready to go. So there's two really easy methods to get your transcription, whether you have the audio file to upload or you're doing it in real time. Super easy method, all with inside Word. I hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video.